my name is Britt Hudgens and I am the customer support manager here at Suzy. So really customer support is here to improve the experience of our members and our clients. So it's educating, making sure that everyone can really understand what they're doing on our platform, they're enjoying their experience, and if there's any issues, because that does happen, we're here to help. Before Susie, I was working at a manager at uh, Teachable, which was um, a educational uh, tech company. Uh, yeah, so same, working in support. I love support and I love being able to create strategies around helping people understand the platform that they're using and enjoying it. I grew up in uh, Queens and then in Teaneck, New Jersey. Yeah, so grew up here until I was about 13 and then moved to Florida and lived in Florida for about 10 plus years years before coming back. Both were, were definitely interesting um, and transitions going down there for high school. No one, you know, didn't know anyone, but I was able to adjust pretty quickly. And of course, warm weather is always great. Um, and then back, moving back up, there are a lot of transitional things happening in my life as well. So there's a lot of exciting things happening right now. When it comes to work, the ability to take on a lot of really cool challenges. Um, I mean, prior to me starting, there wasn't much of a support aspect here, and that's essential for any company to really have a strong support team. And so um, being able to take that on, build and strategize, that's, I love that, it's so exciting for me. So um, that's just fantastic. And then in terms of life, I mean, um, Thankfully, there's a lot of flexibility here. And so not only am I able to work hard here, but I'm able to make sure I have time with my son um, and, and take him places, do fun things with him. I'm able to start new things like rock climbing. That's a, something that I'm um, looking into right now. And boxing as well, I'm trying to stay fit, you know, so. The most challenging moment of my life certainly was making the transition back up from Florida to New York. Not that being New York is great, I love it here, but there was a lot of things going on at that time um, with the death of my mom, who I was very close to, as well as just finding out at that same moment that I was pregnant with my son um, and having a lot of people around me that I did not need to be around, they were not helping. So that transition was probably the most challenging especially being someone prior to that point who was very independent, had everything together. But despite that being the most challenging part and really tough, it's really furthered my growth now. Um, not only in the sense of knowing what I can handle, because I know I can handle a lot, but with the birth of my son, it's another element of how I should conduct myself, how I should um, think about not only myself, but that other person and the things that I should do to make sure that we will have a fantastic life. So the most influential person in my life has to be my mother. And a few reasons for that. One, she loved to laugh. She was very comedic and I liked to as well and I always kind of carried that over. Also, um, she is the most self-sufficient person that I know. Um, with the way that she was brought up, and she had to completely figure out what she was going to do on her own um, without any outside influences really pushing her to do that. And I think that's such a strong uh, capability for someone because oftentimes we need other people to help bolster us and to help us get through. And she didn't. She knew that this is something she had to do. She had to take uh, care of two other sisters. Um, she wasn't going to get help from much else, so very early on she got a master's in nursing, and that all being said, having rheumatoid arthritis. And so she was in pain most of the time, but otherwise she didn't really see it. And so to be able to see someone who worked so hard despite being in pain all the time and um, having to take care of other people still have such a positive aspect and a positive outlook on things um, was very much influential for me. And um, it made me think about how even in times that are tough for myself, uh, I can do it. <laughs> you know, there's no reason that I can't. So there are a few reasons why I picked Susie, two main reasons. One, um, when I came here to interview and the process that 
that took and who I got to speak to, I really enjoyed the culture and the atmosphere that I was already experiencing even though I wasn't a part of the team. People were so kind and understanding and even though I was in this position that I had to prove myself, um, you know, everyone here was still um, open to give answer my questions because I had tons of questions and it was important for me to work in an environment where um, people were open to collaboration and people uh, really enjoyed being around each other and not only just doing the job that they do. Um, and also, as I mentioned, the challenges that I was ready to get into, the opportunity to build a team, that's something that I was attempting to do prior. And um, being able to have that lead on my feet and say, okay, this is what you have to do, how are we gonna do this? And taking that full on was really exciting for me. And so those were the reasons why I just